Hi, Dr. Stephen Davis at Davis Cosmetic Plastic Surgery. We're here again with Nurse Sarah. Hi guys. We do a lot of hair restoration type things without having to do the actual surgery to get things to be more full and to have the hair follicles starting to come back to life. Sarah is running our whole department when it comes to that. Can you tell everybody a little bit about how we go about doing that? Sure. So we have our patients come in and we do a nice consultation, take a look at the areas that they're starting to thin, where they're starting to bald. And what we do is we take a little bit of their own blood, spin it. We get the PRP, which is platelet rich plasma from that blood. And we inject it right into those areas where it seems that they're starting to lose some hair. And Sarah, we're doing that both on men and women, right? On both, yes. And we're starting to see fantastic results, even after the first treatment. So you're supposed to have a total of three treatments one month apart. After that third treatment, we like to wait three months and you have something called a maintenance treatment. So it's four treatments all together with the package that we have here at Davis Cosmetic Plastic Surgery. We've been doing a lot of consulting about hair loss over the years. And way back when, I used to do some of the hair restoration surgical procedures and over the course of time, I just started to realize that a lot of people were really coming in to ask for alternative treatments that didn't really involve a surgical procedure. And after doing a lot of studying, Sarah and I both came up with the idea that this PRP really, really does work. There's enough literature out there to support it. And what we're really finding that's exciting is that the patients that are starting to lose their hair really can benefit from this tremendously because they're really not letting too much of the time go by. You know how we talk about that with anti-aging yeah. things as well. Sarah and I often talk about how, you know, when someone comes in at the age of 70 and after like 70 years of never doing anything that would be considered anti-aging, it's kind of tough to turn the clock back that easily at that age. But if you really did get started with things like Botox and filler and just good skincare treatments, by the time you reach 70, you really wouldn't look that age. Similarly, we're finding that with hair restoration, that even people that still have their hair, we can use this PRP to make the hair look more robust, just more full, and areas that you start to notice that are thinning, that still means that the hair follicles are still active and living, they just need a little push, a little start. So if you're interested in this, don't hesitate to call or come in and see both of us, and we'll talk to you again soon. Bye.